Welcome into Phylacteria on the new ghost hunting game that mixes ghost hunting like Phasmophobia with a game like Prop Hunt, where basically we have to find the vessel, the cursed object, like the book in this case over here, uh, using our tools, and then we have to use seven pieces of equipment to figure out which type of entity is haunting the vessel, and then we have to go through a ritual process to destroy the vessel, and I show how to do that in this video in a pretty quick, safe, and efficient way. And if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Let's get started. Here we go. Okay, so we start inside the house now with the update. Um, and the door slams right on us. That's an interesting way. And this book moves right away. I wonder if that is literally... Is that literally the object? Do we just... Do we just find it? No, I don't think so. It just... how It was just spawning in. Okay, so you're using the Geiger counter. And uh, what do they call this? They call this the... The parapulse. Using the parapulse to scan things you think might be the the vessel. I heard something over here. So the Geiger counter, you want to get that in the threes. I heard something move here. Was that it? If this is it, we're going to get hunted. That was it. That was it, dude. It's hunting us. It's going to come in here. We gotta run. We gotta run, we gotta loop it. We found the cursed item. We found the vessel. I think that's the end of the hunt. So you saw the Geiger counter was like, uh, it's gonna get somewhere close to 3.4 when you're close to the object. Let's see. Yeah, we're, we're okay. It's a little bit lower than that, but also what we learned from the developer is that the Geiger counter will also spike when you're near the ghost itself. The ghost has a radius around the vessel here, around this object. The ghost has a radius which you can wander. So if you're near the ghost and not necessarily the vessel, you can still get a spike, which may be confusing. But they did just change the density of the walls in relation to the Geiger counter, so... Uh, if it's going off, you're less likely to be uh, in the wrong room vertically or laterally. So now we have to run some tests. Now we gotta pick up the vessel. Oh, wait, what the hell? We gotta check it out in a mirror. Okay, we can see it in a mirror. So we're gonna go into here, into our Ghostpedia. Invisible in mirror, no. Now we're gonna throw it. Very gently. <laughs> We're gonna take a picture with our camera. We're gonna go into our gallery. It's visible right there. So, is it invisible in photo? No. Okay, so we have two. We're already down to the manic and the stalking. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test with voice recorder. And we have to be close to the ghost um, to get a voice recorder response. So just because you don't hear anything doesn't mean it's not. We have to be physically pretty close to the ghost for this to this to work. So you want to try this multiple times. So we're not sure we're there. Um, distorted video. Let's try some video. See if we get video distortion. That's distortion right there. Distortion in the video. So you have to be aiming it at the vessel. Distorted video. Yes. That doesn't help us yet, though. Um, blood writing. So we'll type in, type in the writing book. The writing book doesn't have to be near. Oh, my God. What is a your name? Okay. So you can just kind of toss that and then come back to it later. What else do we have? I think that's... Impact Scream, voice on tape, blood right. Okay, so we're going to drop the, drop the item for Impact Scream. 
Nothing yet. We should get a writing response. Let's try and get an impact scream from the stairs. So you have to drop it from a high place. <laughs> that would be an impact scream. It also sounds like that one time I accidentally stepped on my cat's tail. Okay, so we got a manic. We have a manic, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the destroying phase of the vessel. We have to do water, we have to drown it. We have to burn it and drip wax on it. So to drown it, we gotta turn on. So what we learned yesterday is this phase is actually much easier than we thought. Um, you could actually do this in one hunt. Let's just see. You could actually do this all in one hunt. Um, because what we have to do, we have to drown it in the water, we have to put it in the fireplace, and then we have to drip the wax over it. So, let's drown it. Let's burn right here. Let's go. Run. Run. Bro, how do we, uh, drip the wax? I forget. I forget how to drip the wax. I forget how to drip the wax. Is it F? There we go! There we go! We completed it on easy. So F is to drip the wax. I was trying to press A. There we go. So that is how you beat the game in, I guess, six minutes. <laughs> I'll be uh, testing out the other difficulties in maps soon, so I hope you enjoyed this video. That's a that's a pretty clear way of how to beat this game solo. The small oh my god, bro's chilling behind me. Uh, I'm gonna let it go around again. Oh man, uh, bro's chilling behind me. But um, yeah, you go in there just like I did. You gotta find the vessel, which is gonna be very easy on the small map. The dev did say that's a lot harder on the larger maps, especially solo. Um, find the vessel. Go through the seven pieces of equipment that you have there in that box at the front door. Try to figure out which entity it is, and then you try to destroy the vessel with the steps given. So you have four steps. You can either, four possible steps. You have burn it in the fireplace, drown it in the tub, drip wax on it with the candle, or do a, like a, like a voice ritual, which in that case, you just press Z. That's all you do. I think you have, if you're holding the vessel, I think you have to be holding the vessel. Press Z. But there you go. That's how you do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, comment below your thoughts on this new game. Thank you for watching. That was crazy, y'all. We just destroyed that.